Thank you, Professor Kaur and the audience. I'm talking on the, uh, this title, uh, the HANA type I see is a distinct inflammatory disease uh, with clonal cell, clonal B cell expansion. Well, the, I have no uh, sure why. Uh, anyway, I, I welcome all of you here in Tokyo, uh, the chairman. Okay, uh, the nomenclature for IC or IC like conditions is confusing. And uh, just, uh, well, I feel set. There's some, well, confusing term, uh, something slash, slash, slash. So I don't like it. I don't like this. And of course, uh, this is, uh, well, what does it mean, IC slash PBS, for example? IC? Or IC over PBS? Or uh, probably IC, but maybe PBS. It is very, very inaccurate in the meaning. But anyway, uh, the, here, I'm now a follower of the East Asian guideline here, uh, as far as we are staying here, okay? <laughs> and um, uh, the guidelines published by uh, the, uh, these uh, uh, Taiwanese, uh, Japanese, Taiwanese, and Korean doctors uh, published in uh, 2009. Uh, this guidelines was updated this year, and uh, the guidelines names for interstitial cystitis and hypersensitive bladder updated. Uh, in these guidelines, we uh, simply divide it into three types of patients uh, presenting such symptoms. The first one is uh, HANA type IC. Uh, let me see, HANA type IC. And the second one is no HANA type IC. And the third one is hypersensitive brother. These three are uh, common in symptoms, so-called hypersensitive brother symptom, and uh, common in the absence of confusable diseases. But the difference is the uh, endoscopic uh, show, uh, findings. Oh, uh, that is uh, the HANA lesion, HANA type IC. Mucosal bleeding after distension, but no HANA lesion. It is no HANA type IC. No abnormal findings on cystoscopy is hypersensitive brother. That is our classification system. So should be the patient divided either of them. And uh, we made two approaches to this condition. Uh, well, the reality is the patient uh, do complain uh, many, many symptoms, but we do not. Why? We do not know why. And uh, so you may take uh, uh, two approaches. One approach is a symptomatic or pain-centric approach. Yes, just a focus on pain or its consequences apart from etiologies. Just forget the etiologies, concentrate on the pain. That's one approach. The second approach is a biological or bladder-centric approach. Anyway, the patient has some symptoms in the bladder, so focus on the bladder. There's something wrong in the bladder. So we should find something wrong in the bladder. If you can't find something wrong bladder, so there's something wrong outside the bladder. But uh, in case of outside the bladder, it is, it is maybe out of our urological uh, research. So just concentrate first on the brother. That is our strategy. Uh, well, in the guidelines, uh, the, uh, the patient will follow this algorithm. Patient with symptoms go to uh, the exclusion of confusable diseases. And there's no confusable diseases. We come to the tentative diagnosis of hypersensitive brother or interstitial cystitis and do cystoscopy. And when you find HANA lesion, okay, it is she or he is HANA type IC. And no HANA lesion, but mucosal bleeding after distension was found, no HANA type IC, nothing, hypersensitive brother. And uh, I talk, I'm talking on this IC only, HANA type, no HANA type. Just forget hypersensitive brother on, during my presentation. HANA lesion like this, yes, no words. But uh, as you know, it is often overlooked by conventional cystoscopy. Uh, well, the first, during the first uh, presentation, uh, well, our data was introduced in which the uh, proportion of HANA type IC is variable. At an institution, it is almost 100%, but another institution, almost 0%. Why? Why? It depends on the, I guess, the ability of physician to detect 
annihilation. Many patients, many doctors, just over annihilation. Because why? It is a bit dilation. A small dilation of the bladder may obscure annihilation. And uh, this is embed. Oh, you may say, oh, this is glomeration. Yes, it is. But with glomeration, I would say it is peculiar English to me, at least. Uh, embed, mucosal bleeding after distension is more descriptive. So I take this word. As you, as you know, the apparently normal bladder mucosa left undergoes intravascular mucosal bleeding after, after bladder emptying, uh, after, after uh, during bladder emptying after distension. Right, okay. Uh, and so, uh, go back to the definition of IC. IC is uh, defined by symptoms, bladder pathologies, and non-confusable disease. But how about bladder pathology? We just say endoscopic pathology, analysis, embat, nothing. Oh, it's, we are now 21st century. Why don't just uh, endoscopy is just only one tool to diagnose? No. How about morphological? How about molecular? How about genetic pathology? We have recently published some papers. If you are interested in, please check it. But, uh, well, his, his pathology of IC is very, very clear. Clearly different from HIC and non-HIC. HIC means HANA type. Non-HIC uh, is no HANA type, okay? IHIC has severe inflammation and FCL denudation. On the other hand, NIHC, nothing, almost normal. Yes. We had uh, the uh, quantification study uh, using a special uh, software named Tissue Studio to uh, quantify the proportion of FCL and uh, the, left, the left side. So the right, right figure means uh, uh, the quantification for work uh, cell counts, the, uh, the cell was stained with the CD, uh, CD, CD3, and then the uh, software will count the number of cells. In that procedure, we found that residual FCL area is very low. Left 2, left 2 means a high, uh, HIC, HIC lesion, HIC <coughs> out of lesion, anyway, it, anyway HIC. And uh, the, uh, this, this is a, a no HANA type. This is a non IC cystitis, as you can see. The uh, no, uh, non IC cystitis, although there is a, a inflammation, the, if the uh, residual FCL area is even higher than compared with uh, HIC. And cell density of lymphoplasmacytic cells, it means the T cell, B cell, and plasma cells, it is, it is, it is comparably higher for. Uh, for uh, HIC and non IC cystitis, but very low in, in HIC. And uh, even the number of mast cells, it is, uh, it is said mast cell is very specific to HIC, but we don't think so. As you see here, uh, the number of uh, 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 mast cells, uh, this is whole specimen. Uh, the uh, 100 type of HIC and the no 100 type IC, is, it is comparable, comparable. And uh, this, these spheres, NHC and normal, comparable. Oh, when you compare this and this, yes, HIC has higher density of mast cells. But when you compare HIC and non IC cystitis, mast cells are comparable. It is even same to the Detrusa muscle cell count. And there's some papers which examine the gene expression profile of hypnotype HIC. It says uh, the chronic inflammation reactions, immune or inflammatory responses, and even an antigen-mediated allergic inflammation or T-cell-mediated immune responses. And in uh, chemokine or cytokine profiles, it is said IL-70A or CL, CCL21 are most important or relevant inflammatory mediators. So I would say the HANA type IC is, it is a inflammatory, possibly mediated by immunoreactions are characteristic. And uh, when so we get in, uh, so uh, analyze of a 
the, uh, lymphocytes more detail. So then we find that the, the ratio of B cell, B cell or plasma cells over all lymphocytes, this is the ratio of B cell and plasma cell, is much higher in HANA type IC compared with non ICC studies or, of course, non HIC. It means that B cell or plasma cells are predominant in HANA type IC among lymphocytes. We further examined the characteristics of plasma cells. Surprisingly, surprisingly, we found that the plasma cells infiltrating in HIC is oligoclonal. You know, plasma cells, what do plasma cells do in, in your body? Plasma cells are producing 10 or 100 million kinds of antibody. Okay, they are coded. I mean, they have DNA coded. So they are ready to make an antibody any, anywhere in the body. So some antigen come in, the plasma cell respond. So that they are ready, they are ready to make an antibody. And the kinds of plasma cells, 10 or 100 million. But in the blood of HIC, there's only one, two, three. Very oligoclonal plasma cells are very dominant. About 60 or almost more than half percent, half of plasma cells make single antibody. Okay, this is oligoclonal expansion of the B cells. It suggests immunological reaction. And so it is same to the T cells, not only B cells, but also B T cells. They are oligoclonal. oligoclonal. So, uh, and uh, the, how about the no HANA type IC? What happened? There's no, no so much uh, studies, no HANA type IC. But as far as I, I, I know, the first one is my, our study, uh, the no HANA type IC. There's an uh, upregulation of NGF. And the very recent study, which still impress general urology, study from Switzerland indicated sub epithelial sensory hyperinnervation. It means uh, sub epithelium number fibers, many, many, increased, number fibers increased, and the very cell cells are positive for NGF receptors. That is what they found. So the hypersensitivity of sensory nerves may be involved in both types of H uh, HIC and NHIC. So it is my summary. Uh, HANA type IC, it is information. Yes, it is a disease of inflammation, and it may be associated with specific immune response and sensory hyperactivity. And in HIC, it is no inflammation, but maybe sensory hyperactivity. So this, what's the clinical implication? Well, HIC should be treated as an immunoinflammatory disorder. And HIC and NHIC, they have symptoms, Pain-associated pain symptoms? Yeah, of course. So why? It would be uh, due to blood hypersensitivity. Thank you for your attention. The sir speaks